Hi you guys, welcome back. Let's talk about the skincare product that I use the most of and that is sunscreen. Unless it's nighttime, I'm always wearing a sunscreen. It's our best defense against UV rays and sun damage, which is the main culprit for signs of premature aging. But the thing is, I have tan skin and I have acne prone skin. So when I'm wearing a sunscreen, it needs to not have a white cast, it needs to not break me out, and it needs to layer well with other skincare products and layer well with makeup. So these are the sunscreens that I've been loving lately that I've been wearing not non-stop that I use specifically for my face, neck, and chest. Let's get into the video. Let's start with this one. It's the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. It is a Korean sunscreen and I've been loving K-Beauty this year as well. This one blends seamlessly on the skin with minimal effort and it does leave a very glowy, dewy appearance. However, it does dry down very quickly on the skin. It's very lightweight on the skin and it doesn't leave that heavy, tacky feeling. And it actually does have some extra skin replenishing ingredients in it too, like niacinamide and centella asiatica and of course hyaluronic acid. This is a chemical sunscreen and it has UV filters that are going to help to protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays and it has some filters that can only be found internationally and some filters that you can find in the US but I find that I enjoy a lot of international sunscreens a lot better just because they can have those extra filters in other countries. It's definitely more of a creamier lotion like consistency. It's not water resistant or sweat resistant but for everyday use. This is definitely one of my favorite sunscreens. It also wears great under makeup. This next one is the Polish Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This one also happens to be a chemical sunscreen, but I've actually been using this sunscreen for over two years now. Not this specific one, of course. This one is a mini size, but I've gone through bottles of this. I used to talk about this sunscreen a lot on my YouTube channel last year. I've even seen this specific Polish Choice sunscreen being compared to the Isentry one. And I would say in comparison, they are both very lightweight. They dry onto the skin very quickly. They both have a nice lotion consistency. The Polish Choice one definitely gives more of a healthy glow, whereas the Isentry one has more of a glowy, dewier finish. But of course, that is all about preference. I personally love having glowy skin. I prefer a glowy sunscreen. Because the Polish Choice is also on the lighter side and gives that nice, healthy glow, I can see this being a good one for all skin types. It also does have some extra antioxidants ingredients in it so it's going to help to further fight off any signs of premature damage that can come from free radicals. This next one I have spoken about so many times on my YouTube channel, on my TikTok. It's the Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 from Pipe Bet, and this one is a great one for sensitive acne prone dry skin. It's actually marketed towards sensitive skin and even baby skin. The mineral filter is zinc oxide so if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen that's also on the affordable side I think I think this one is $15, but they always have a coupon code on the website and it ends up being around $10. The thing about mineral sunscreens is sometimes it's hard to find a mineral sunscreen that's going to go on completely clear without leaving any sort of white cast. And I like that this one has squalane in it, so it helps to moisturize and soften the skin, but it also helps with the application. It helps the sunscreen to glide on more easily and have that nice, clear, translucent finish. So upon first application, you might think that this might leave a white cast, but as you work it into the skin, it dries on completely clear. This also does have some additional skin soothing ingredients like Bissable and gooseberry extract, and I find that it does wear well under makeup. This is a great everyday wear mineral sunscreen. It's what I'm wearing usually when I'm just hanging out around my house. I also use this one on my husband a lot without any issues. My husband has very fair skin, very sensitive skin. He's prone to inflammation and redness, and this one works really well on him. This one is also not sweat proof or water resistant, but because it is so affordable, this is also my go-to for using all over my body as well. This next one is the Cots Flawless Complexion Tinted SPF 50. And while it does say tinted, it's not tinted enough that it's gonna give you any coverage in my opinion, but it is tinted enough to where it's not gonna leave a white cast. This one blends into the skin beautifully. It does leave a glowy, dewier finish, but I do know that Cots has other sunscreen formulations that are less on the dewy, glowy side. So if you have very oily skin, you might prefer those other formulations. I even applied this yesterday after shaving my face and had no issues in terms of irritation or getting any breakouts. So this is a great one for sensitive skin. This one I've been talking about since I started my YouTube channel. It's the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. I like to always keep this one on hand because it actually is sweat proof and waterproof. So if I'm doing any sort of heavy workouts or if I'm going to be in the water, this is a good go-to for that. 
This one is a mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide being the filter. It also does have those iron oxides again to protect from any blue light damage. This one is a mineral go-to for so many people and it also has extra antioxidants. So it's gonna help to further block any free radical damage. It leaves a nice healthy glow on the face. Once it's dried down, it feels nice and light. And I find that this is gonna be a good option for all skin types. Last but definitely not least is the Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. I've been talking about dermatology products on my channel for a little while now. I love them. This one is a hybrid sunscreen, which means that it has both chemical and mineral filters in it. It gives a nice healthy glow to the skin as well as sheer coverage. And it also has a universal tint, meaning that it's gonna blend naturally with your specific unique skin tone. So on days when I want some nice sheer coverage to my skin, but I definitely don't feel like putting on a foundation, this is my go-to for that. You can definitely use this as the only sunscreen on your face, neck, and chest, but I find myself using this a lot as a layering sunscreen because many times when I am using a tinted sunscreen, I just don't use enough of it for it to count as my main sunscreen. I might use my Isentry sunscreen all over my face, neck, and chest, or I might use my pipette sunscreen, and then I will layer the dermatology sunscreen on top of it just to give myself some nice sheer coverage. So those are all of my go-to sunscreens right now that I like to apply as the final step in my morning skincare routines. There are so many amazing sunscreens on the market right now, so when I finish some of these up, I will definitely be trying something new. I find that one of the biggest mistakes that people make with sunscreen is not wearing enough of it for it to count as skin protection. So a few quick tips on sunscreen is to find a sunscreen that is broad spectrum, meaning that it's gonna protect you from UVA rays and UVB rays. Use a sunscreen that has SPF 30 or higher, and even even if you are wearing makeup, wear sunscreen underneath. There are so many sunscreens like the ones that I've mentioned that do wear well under makeup. My next video is gonna be all about how I reapply my sunscreen, even how I reapply my sunscreen over makeup. That's everything that I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.